You're watching Zoo Tours, the channel that takes you on a virtual field trip to the zoo. Hello again and welcome to part two of the wilds of Cumberland, Ohio, North America's largest conservation center. If you haven't seen part one, pause this and go catch up with the rest of the tour group. I'll even help you get started. For those that are caught up, first of all, good job. As a reward, your safari through nearly 10,000 acres of fun continues. Though it is an open air bus tour, we left off on foot from the park's lake trail. Now it's time to get back on the bus to just get off of it a few minutes later. The tour rides through the other side of Spillman Lake, where you might spot a couple grazers in the woods, but we'll catch up with them later because today's episode will focus on the 24 acre mid-sized carnivore center. We had 15 minutes to walk around the lake trail. Now we have about 20 minutes to look at some rare carnivores. The main path puts you right in between several rows of teeth. If you keep walking, you'll reach the Veterinary Care and Animal Management Center. You can't go in, but you can look in to see what the vets are up to. And if one of these animals has a litter, you can kind of see them before they're even ready to go out and hear your oohs and ahs. The carnivores are definitely best viewed from the center's huge observation boardwalks. Just remember to keep this rule in mind when you're up there. The wilds prides themselves on two things large enclosures, and exhibiting mostly threatened species. So why would a cheetah be here? They're about as universal as a house cat, and you'd think that they could just run away from all their problems. Sad reality is, cheetahs could be racing towards extinction. A cheetah's territory is vast, and they do not thrive in protected areas since they have to compete with much larger predators for food. And as the human population increases, land usage for farming also increases, which leaves little room for this speedy cat. They're now confined to just 9% of their historic range in Africa. So not to make this video too depressing, they're at the very least looking at a stable population increase in South Africa, where their numbers have doubled over the last decade. Keeping it in wild fashion, the cheetahs have a lot of room to roam, which gives us the chance to play the pointing game with your significant other and keep repeating the line, no, honey, that's a rock, just like you would in the wild. Looks like something caught this guy or gal's attention, so let's go check it out. Turns out they were being snooping neighbors to one of the rarest mammals you'll ever see. And of course, they were sleeping for five minutes. The dole, not D-hole, or you know what, just, just call them the Asian wild dog. While they do live in clans, there isn't much of a hierarchy. Groups aren't very territorial, everyone works together to survive, and even strangers from other groups are free to join the pack without much trouble over who gets to date who. So they pretty much get along with everyone. Doles roam from Central China to Southeast Asia. Now that's actually a pretty big range, but when you're seen as a pest, your numbers might be scattered and diminished. As low as 2,500 wild dogs remain in Asia. In America, you can find them at only four other parks. So this will not be the last time we see the dole. The top of the vet center is your only real chance to catch up on lunch. It's also an observation deck, and would you look at that, another large exhibit. You just met the Asian wild dog, now say hello to the African wild dog. When it comes to hunting, they threaten the lion's good name of king of the savanna, depending on the pack size, and what they're trying to hug with their teeth. Painted dogs will at most have three successful kills for every five hunts. That's a 30% higher kill rate than a lion's or a hyena's. Of course, the latter's numbers are probably lower because they're too busy taking each other's food. Getting back to the subject of conservation, the African wild dog's stardom far exceeds the Asian wild dogs, but they're both in the same conservation class. A hundred years ago, there were about half a million wild dogs in Africa. Now there's less than 7,000. The Columbus Zoo, operator of the wilds, has supported and funded 10 conservation projects to ensure the safety and recovery of this pup. And though I don't know the exact numbers, this safari park has bred multiple litters of one of Africa's rarest mammals, which you can read more about below. I know it was brief, but that wraps up the mid-sized carnivore center at the wilds. It's once again time to get back on the bus 
and continue the safari into the park's final and largest fields to get really close to their largest animals. Now everyone's favorite part of the video, the part where I beg you for money. You can help support the channel with a subscription, or you can support your zoo style with merchandise from my gift shop, where everything is still 20% off if you use the promo code ZOO123. Several links are in the description. So as usual, stay tuned, see if you can answer this episode's trivia question, and thank you all for watching.